do you keep in touch with your extended family and do they know what happened? Yes, well, I am on television, so everybody <laughs> knows what happened. I keep in touch with my great grand with my grandmother. My great grandmother passed away. My grandmother, who was my mom's mom, so we lived in my grandmother's house, what was considered a mother-daughter house. So there's a side that is like for a, a small apartment and then it's connected to a huge house. We lived in the small apartment and what connected this apartment was this hallway. And oftentimes that's where my father would take me to molest me because it was in the back of my parents' bedroom. And I would hear my grandmother sing. I would hear my grandmother singing um, gospel music. And when my father was doing things to me that I did not want him to do, I would focus on her singing. I would focus on her singing and it would help get me through that time. So I think as a child, and of course, you know, she was grandma and she's an old Jamaican woman. She taught me how to make fried dumplings. She suspected that I was being abused. But if there was anybody that I could have told, and I think my father knew this because then not long after he moved us away and we wasn't allowed to talk to my grandmother 